Senator Paul, you don't know what you're talking about. All right, it's not getting a function. We just took the function and we wanted to give it more. This guy has no accountability. All right, welcome back to the party, everybody. This is Morty, and I am your host, Lutch, a.k.a. The Indian Jesus, here to resurrect the second coming of Common Sense. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let's party! So you guys know how much, how much, I don't like using the word hate, but whenever it comes to this one person, this one person, oh, do I hate this person more than anybody on the face of the earth. And yes, I'm not even going to call him doctor. We're talking about Anthony Fauci. PVD and crew were talking about him recently, and he just came out with some more BS. Let's check it out. We have to get away from this blame game, folks. It's too much blaming going <laughs> yeah, on. Go yeah. ahead and play this clip for yeah. us. But I want to know what you think. Oh, God. You and the community got wrong. Was the closing of the schools too draconian? Will he take responsibility? Of course it was too draconian. Everything about what you said was too draconian. Not to mention it was wrong. Responsibility. How much of a delay did the fact that nobody fully understood the asymptomatic spread of this, nobody figured out that it could actually bust through certain vaccine levels as well? That's not true. A lot of people knew that. Maybe not right away, but certainly long after they were still saying that you should get the jab and that mask and all of that stuff, people definitely did know. What are the real masks. takeaways and yeah. the real lessons for I public think, health? Yeah. I think. Okay, so this is where he has his big mea culpa moment, right? His big, you know, it happened with AIDS and I thought I knew and it was coming around and then we tried a different uh, or a similar type of strategy with Rona and then it just didn't work. I'm sorry, Americans. I'm sorry to the world. That's what he's going to say, right? I think we have to get away from the blame game <laughs> because so many sure. things. We have to get away from the blame game. Need I remind you, need I remind you how much he, as well as so many other prominent figures, whether they were newscasters, uh, uh, celebrities, or otherwise, completely demeaning an entire portion of the population just because they wouldn't follow the, his incorrect advice. There are still people who feel that way, but for like nobody. Nobody has been asked to just walk that back. Nobody has been asked to say, you know, all those things that you were saying about those people, maybe you were wrong, right? Maybe they deserve an apology, right? If you're one of those people and you agree, you will definitely find a home at the Indian Jesus Discord <laughs> server where the party never ends. That's right. We are hanging out there in there 24-7. After every live stream, we go in there to do a panel where you're not stuck behind your keyboard. It's an actual panel where you're there uh, live with me. You can be on camera or off camera if you want. But either way, it is a good time. Things yeah. that you have mentioned were what unknowns at the time. It's so Wrong. easy. And I made that comment. Uh, oh in my response to one of the questions that Davis Wallace Weld asked me in this the is in the New York Times profile. Wrong. Everything that we now know, we knew long before Fauci stopped and others stopped uh, 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 saying, you know, things like trans, you couldn't tr uh, transmit it, you couldn't get sick, all of these things, the masks, everything, everything. You were wrong about everything. In the New York Times profile. And I didn't mean it as an affront to him, but I said, you know, this is really big time Monday morning quarterbacking here. Which, but I want. But again, it wasn't because we already knew the correct information. It just didn't work for your narrative. It didn't work to put money in your pocket. So you decided it was better to ignore it. This, uh, he just listen to me, and I know I know the viewers, the real viewers that get what I'm saying. This is the most protected bureaucrat rat. They, they brought him out. He did exactly what he did. He's mm -hmm. been, I have videos on my phone of him flip, flip flopping about the mask. And yep. this is what pisses me off, Jed. Zero accountability. How many <laughs> congressional hearings, judiciary hearings, where Ron, Rand Paul is screaming at him and. Senator Paul, you don't know what you're talking about. All right. It's not getting a function. We just took the function and we wanted to give it more. This guy has no accountability. There, in your face evidence, you funded this, you mm -hmm. did all this, nothing will happen to him. Not a Zero. Pat was talking not. about investigation year and all this, all that stuff. No I get that. You will he's probably, if he's not already, he's probably going to write a book or another book 
about all of this and get paid off of that. He'll never see this guy for all the people that died for all the shit he funded. He'll never see a prison. None of them do. And it frustrates somebody like me because I'm sitting there and I'm saying, okay, the left is the left. Is the right just there to bark and bark just to sh Yup. Yup. All the GOP is is a speed bump for the left. When's the last time? Take out the Bud Light boycott. When is the last time that Republicans, actual Republican politicians, fought for anything? And even talking about Bud Light, Don Jr. was out here like, well, they give us money. Please don't make them give our money away. When's the last time you did anything except say, oh, Democrats bad? Show us. Oh, look, there's two sides. And I don't think there is any side, Jay. They don't give a sh And they just have us. Nope. They have us by the. Mm -hmm. Well, it depends what part of the right you're talking about. Yeah. If you're talk Good point. Jedidala Bila live. Shout out to her. It, 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 it does depend. Because when we're talking about the politicians, we're talking about the rhinos, then yeah, absolutely. It's this young America first conservative movement that, that I think she's going to go in and, and say that people are actually, actually starting to do something. Talking about controlled opposition, which absolutely exists. Mm -hmm. They're just, you know, they do this. They give you the yeah. illusion of yeah. actually fighting guys. Like, this guy's a loathsome. I Cassie is him. a loathsome creature. Yep. Yep. He Love makes you. villains. You know, when you turn on a superhero movie and you see a villain, this guy makes them look 100%. Good. He is that guy. Yep. And the only Facts. person that really rivals him in turn of, terms of villainous energy is, like, Klaus Schwab. I also I can turn that guy on, and there's a darkness Based. that emanates from them. Yeah. Juxtapose him, by the way, with like a Tucker Carlson, who we talked mm. about the strength of Tucker Carlson as being able to say, I got it wrong. That's right. So this, this video is from uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, it was right after Tucker Carlson had left Fox News. Left Fox News. And he went on, I think it was the Full Send podcast, and he was just talking about how he was in this world, and he's like, I didn't realize I did all this, and I, I got it wrong. And people appreciated it. People appreciated him more for it. Yeah. I did something wrong. You know, I, I, I would do it differently now. Even when he mm -hmm. was talking about when Tucker, there was a video, um, he was on a podcast. I think it was Full Sand Podcast. I'm not sure. And he was talking about yep. corporate media and he was saying, I've been on those panels. Mm -hmm. I've done that myself. Yep. And it's, it's loathsome. Yep. The ability to do that. All Fauci has to come out and say is, you know what? We got it wrong. Yeah. That's it. We got it wrong. And I apologize. That's it. Same thing with Bud Light for that matter. But just take accountability. We know that you can get away with it. You know that you can get away with it. But just be better. Choose to be better. Why is that such a big ask for these people? So, I mean, you can go check out the rest of the video. Definitely a uh, great conversation with the, uh, the Valuetainment team. I just, you know, when it comes to Fauci, I just, my brain, my blood boils and my brain is about to explode. And I want to give a, a special shout out to any of you out there who was, were able to avoid the immense propaganda that befell you over just about three years, making you a second-class citizen, calling you all kinds of names for not wanting to do this experimental treatment. Now, I'm not saying that if you did get the jab that you're automatically, signed, you know, everybody has their own uh, uh, thing. Do whatever is right for you. But if you did stand up, we are of a very small cohort of people who stood on our principles. And you should be very, very proud of that. Let me know if you stood up for that in the comments below or why maybe you couldn't. And maybe we'll get a better understanding of that. Either way, thank you so much for hanging out. Once again, this is Morty and I have been your host, Lutch, a.k.a. The Indian Jesus, here to resurrect the second coming of Common Sense. Hey, little treat for you. Since you made it to the end of the video, let me shout you out. Comment Morty. You know, like Morty. Come out Morty below and uh, I'll shout you out in the next video. Until then, guys, we are out of here. Peace.